boy divas, do I have an unboxing and unwrapping a sneak peek for you. My grandson is going to go bonkers for this. It's one of the new Batmans from the DC series from Diamond Art Club. And yes, it's a brand new box. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's in it. This one is called Shadow of the Night. So I hope the guys in your life will be as into it as I know the guys in my life will be. Here you go, Shadow of the Night by DC, and it is a Batman. You'll get a better look at it in a moment when I pull out the drill sheet. And right away, you can see this is a big canvas. It is a 70 by 107. Oh my goodness, 70 by 107 centimeters. It is a 27.6 times 43.1 inches. Okay, that is a large diamond painting. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, let's see. You remember watching Batman as you grew up? I mean, I grew up in the 60s and 70s, so I remember the old Batman, the uh, Adam West one. Met Adam at a convention, and just hearing his voice, it was just so funny. You know, to hearing his voice. All right, so so far this is the bottom of the canvas, and you can see there is the Dark Knight himself. Okay, let's take a look at this canvas there. All right, there are 53 colors, which include three Aurora Borealis. And stay, stay tuned, very shortly I'm going to have a whole video on uh, tips for using how to use Aurora Borealis in uh, a canvas and how to add your own. Also, what tools are best to use for them. I'm going to have a whole video on that coming up soon, so stay tuned. All right, so here is the Dark Knight himself. Can you see his... Oh, you can't see the face up here yet, but you can see the, the bottom. What's at the bottom here? Some kind of um, gargoyle, I would imagine. And coming up here... Now you can see the Dark Knight himself. Let me get the glare off of there as best I can. There we go. Can you see the Dark Knight now? Yep, and you can see the Gotham scar skyscrapers behind him. And in addition, there is a full moon in the background. You know, that should have been the bat signal, but hey, you know. That's a TV show uh, construct, I believe. But it has loads of different colors. Like I said, 53 colors. Uh, I think it's a beautiful canvas. Very colorful. I'm going to work on this with my grandson, with his help. And let's look, you get your normal thank you, uh, your thank you um, booklet and instructions in here, and it comes in three languages, and it gives you a code for the Facebook group, it gives you a code for a thank you 10, 10% 10 off your next purchase. By the way, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and have not ordered from them before and this one meets your fancy, check down in my box below. You can get 15% off of your first order from them. It's called Shadow of the Night and this is the sticker that comes with it, with the title. And it is done by um, uh, Batman and all related characters and elements are DC. Of course, they're owned by DC. Okay, and it has the dimensions and it's a square drill. And it also comes with individual stickers. I'm going to peel one of these off. Individual stickers that you can use kitting up that have the sequence number, the symbol, and the related DMC code number on there so you can tell the difference between the codes. Okay, they're all there, ready to kit up. Now, let's take a look at this drill pack. Which ones are the ABs going to look like? They are a light blue, a dark blue, and a white. 
They are a light blue, a dark blue, and white. So let's take a look at those. Oh, I am wrong. One of them is a gray, a blue gray. Let me bring it in so you can really see these. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that shine. That's the blue, 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 gray, and there's two of those. And there's a white, only a little bit of white in here. You see the white AB? And where is the third AB? Hmm. Who was your favorite Batman villain in the old TV series? Who was your favorite villain? I didn't like the penguin much. That I don't know. I liked, um, who did I like the most? Oh, I liked the Joker and the Riddler. Riddler, Frank Gorshin. We met him at a, con at a convention, too. He was so cool. My hair matched, color matched his. I have a picture of that. He was so sweet. He wasn't even supposed to be there at the convention, but he was next door in Cleveland, and uh, so we got to meet him. Here is okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose you want to see the drills, but not quite so up close and personal here. Let me pull that back. I know there's a third one in here. My little eyes just cannot peek, cannot see it. But look at all those vivid colors. It has lights, a combination of lights and darks. You can see the tans and browns and oranges for the building. The dark blues and grays and blacks for the caped crusader himself. The dark knight. Oh, you know what? I see another face in the background. You know, it's really neat that these things, the more you look at them, the more items pop out at you, so that when you do them, you know, it looks like Batgirl in the background, doesn't it? Can you see Batgirl? You can see her this way, can't you? I mean, wing it out just a bit more. There she is, see? Her goggles and her cowl, which means the little hat with the ears. <laughs> hey, behind every great man, there's a great woman, right? Got it. <laughs> okay, so. Oh. <clears throat> so I'm going to, what I usually do is I put this in the drill pack. They don't save them with the boxes anymore. But I, um, I wrap this up together with the drills. And I put the canvas and the drills in one of the underbed uh, gift wrap boxes. If you want to see that, there's uh, a link in the description below that you can see uh, my uh, video on how I use those as storage for unfinished, you know, for my stash. All right. And soon I have some solutions on storing your finished diamond paintings as well. So stay tuned. Where did I put the box? What I'm going to do is roll this up the other way. Because I like to see the information on the bottom. Now remember, these are, these canvases are um, what I call pinked and poked. And that just means that they have a non-fray edge. They're soft on the back, but they're stiff enough to hold all those jewels in place. When I can, I keep the drills in the, the packet with it, but I can't always do that. So, and it's a poured glue canvas. Uh, there won't be any wrinkles in the canvas, and really, even if you shove it back in the container here, there will not be a permanent wrinkle in it because poured glue is just done that way. It's the best. 
All right, so thank you Diamond Art Club for this sneak peek. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me. Um, take a look at the, the description box below. Join for my weekly, get my, uh, no, not weekly. Join up for my giveaways, which one will be coming up again on July 4th. I'm hoping we have a thousand subscribers by then because if we do, it'll be a live and I have at least five uh, full, I have at least five full kits to give away live to some lucky winners. And you can only be a winner if you've sent in your member questionnaire that um, I ask you all kinds of questions so that I get to know what you like best so I don't send you something you're not going to like. Okay, so let me get through this. And yes, at this time, I will be sending them out to if you, winners if they are not in the United States. Right now I have the means to do that, and I think with the thousand... Um, thousand subscribers I will be able to do that anyway oh now I see on the box I see the Batgirl too oh that's cool oh and in the back is the Batcave oh. all right well you'll see all kinds of fun things in the shadows <laughs> all right stay tuned I have unwrap a few more unwrappings to go so all right See you in the next one. Bye, divas.